my newest book is Stay at Home Detective 2, Harm for the Holidays. So it's a sequel to my first humorous mystery novel. This one stars my other daughter, Mary. She was really bummed out that she wasn't in the first book, so I had to write a sequel starring her. I actually took this picture many, many years ago. The, the kids are all grown up by now and look totally different, but she insisted on having her and her pet dog in the book. And here's a picture of me dressed up as Santa Claus. That's the big finale of the book, is I'm dressed up like Santa Claus and I tackle the culprit in the middle of a shopping mall. It's a funny scene, and it's a funny book. So, let me read uh, the, the back summary. A not-so-jolly holiday. Stay-at-home dad Ned Gray. That's me. <laughs> he starts off the holiday season with a bang when he blows up the Thanksgiving turkey. His life gets even more complicated when his 10-year-old niece moves in, and there's a robbery at the local mall. The rowdy suspects include Ned's evil ex-girlfriend, that would be Deirdre Simmons, a violent sample person, and the mall's greedy owners. <laughs> One of them's called Greedsmore, and so Ned thinks they're the culprit because the bad guy in the original Hardy Boys and Nancy Drew books always has a culprit name, like Greedsmore. <laughs> it's funny. The case takes a dangerous turn when Ned's infant daughter is kidnapped. Can Ned find her and stop the culprit in time? Or will Christmas be cancelled this year? Yes, the baby is kidnapped. I didn't want to do two murder mysteries in a row. I know most mystery series are just nothing but murder. I didn't want to follow that trend, so I did a, a murder mystery followed by a kidnapping mystery. This one ties into the kidnapping of Ned's wife from 10 years ago. There's a little bit of foreshadowing of that in this original book. I, I did have the kidnapping mystery planned in advance. So let me read uh, from like this first page of the book. Just for the record, I want to say I did not ruin Thanksgiving dinner. I just made it a little different. It certainly wasn't bad enough to punish me with a second kid, her pesky dog, and a thief who doubles as a kidnapper. But that's exactly what happened. Welcome to my life. A little difference, probably the best way to describe me. I'm Ned Gray. I'm best known for being the weird guy on the internet who reviews children's mystery books from 90 years ago. Don't get me wrong, the Harvey Brothers series is awesome! Growing up, I read all of Fred and Jim's adventures. It's just I'd rather be known for something more important like curing cancer. Not for a joke project I started in college just to annoy my English professor. I used to be an accountant until my boss was murdered. To make a long story short, I was forced to become a stay-at-home parent and prove my innocence to the police. If you want more information about that case, feel free to buy my previous book, Stay at Home Detective. And thanks for buying my books, by the way. I need the diaper money. Thank goodness, thank goodness she's grown up at this point and she no longer wears diapers. Oh, potty training was a nightmare. Maybe I should write a disaster book about potty training, ugh. Speaking of diapers, that's what I was working on. Ah, ah, Mackenzie screamed. She's almost four months old now, and she's usually adorable when she's not screaming at me. I'm cleaning your butt as fast as I can, okay? I shouted. There's a lot of crap to deal with here. That was when I noticed my wife was standing at the front door, silently watching me deal with a level three diaper disaster. Is this a bad time? She asked. Brittany, I said, you, you're home early. All right, that's... Enough to give you a sample of the sort of fun silliness you'll expect from this mystery novel. I especially like the 10 years ago flashback because um, Ned is just like, oh, I'm a totally crazy dude back in high school. Because in high school, I was kind of a nerd and wrote poetry a lot. And uh, that's, that's in this. So Ned's the kind of guy who writes poetry and thinks it's really deep. And says, dude, all the time. <laughs> and, yeah. So if you if you uh, think that sounds interesting, please buy a copy of my book, Stay at Home Detective 2, Harm for the Holidays. And thanks for purchasing my mysteries.